Hey guys, I'm AC Gamer. Hey, this is Cypher Deck. And today we are introducing you to Mushroom Wars 2 in beta. This is a game that is absolutely fantastic looking. As you can see, it has gotten an entire revamp to it. Now, both me and Cypher have played Mushroom Wars 1, and we were addicted to that one. So you can absolutely. imagine where this is going to be going. Uh, now, you've actually kind of played around with a little bit of this. You figured out, like, the multiplayer thing. That's where we're going to be going to to start with, right? Yes, sir. And uh, we need to go to custom so that we can actually play against each other. Now, it's asking me to pick a, uh, a picture, I guess, of who I want to play. Now, only four of them are activated at the moment. We can go with the green dude. I guess each one of these has different skills. Yeah. Different skills. Which one did you go with? Uh, well, I don't think this actually affects us because this is for the rate, uh, rated games. We may actually be able to choose what we're going to use in uh, oh, once custom. we actually make our custom game. Okay, yes. okay. Now, this is a game brought to you or published by Zillin Wales, and we just kind of want to stress to you guys, it's still in beta. So if we run into any bugs or, or weird things happening, uh, they are testing it out for the next three days. So explain to us what we're going to be doing here. Now, am I going to add you or are you going to add me? Um, I'll go ahead and let you add me. And then we can see if it's working. Okay, yes. All right. Do you, do you now see me? I don't see you, but you saw me earlier. That could just be one of the little bugs that we're running into. If we hit ready, it should take us into the game, right? I would think so. <laughs> now, are you going to pick a map here or are we just going to go with the, the default starting one? I think we should do the first one. It looks less complicated. It doesn't have any tower. Well, it has two towers in it, so it should be pretty easy. All right, so let's hit uh, hit, hit your ready and see what happens. Um, it is not doing a thing. <laughs> it makes a noise. Yep. Okay, so maybe it didn't work. Let me go ahead and see if I can add you again. It still says you're offline for some Oops. reason. On. Um, How about well, that? Did you get the message on that one? Oh, I got all of the messages. <laughs> uh, for some reason, it sends me three at a time. Wow, really? Well, yeah. how, what, what if you try to add me? Okay, uh, let's go wait, ahead. Wait, wait, now, here. are you in the multiplayer screen right now? I am. So maybe okay. you have to be on, like, the, the desktop and the campaign mode when they get sent to you. Maybe? I, you know, I'm just spitballing, you know, like if there's, we've tried it this way. I can exit out, come back into the multiplayer if you think that would work. I don't know. Um, let me go ahead and get out myself. I'll go ahead and get out. I don't think you need to exit out of the uh, whole game. Just like go into the campaign. I'll toss you an yeah. invite and see if that works. Okay. Uh, yes, I want to... Uh, leave the game room. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Okay, I've left the game room. All right, let me go ahead and see. Still says you're offline. It says the same thing for you. It shows that you're offline, offline. Which is weird because I have other people on my Steam account saying that they are online right now. Hmm. Yeah. It... In Steam client. What if... What if you can only invite people who aren't in the game at the moment? Because everybody who shows online is only in the Steam client. Um, let me go ahead and quit. And go ahead and invite me now. Do, does it show that I'm online now? Let's see. Give it a second. No, it still says offline. I'll toss you an invite. See what happens. Is it coming up? No, it's not. It's not coming um, up. Let me exit out. Stay the way you are. Yes, I'm sure I want to exit out of that. Uh, go into multiplayer. We'll go into customs. I'll go into add and see if... No, it still says you are offline. Well, if that's the issue, then what we can do is we can try rating a, a rating game and hope that we get to play with each other because there's 12 people in the game at the moment um 
I don't know why it must be something with the game that it's not allowing us to just create our own game. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, you know, like we said, beta, so we're going through checking things out. Probably just doing something wrong, to be honest. But yeah, let's go into rating. Now, now okay. which one of these guys are you going to be picking? Oh, I already know who I'm picking. I am picking the, um, the purple guy who has um, teleport, invisibility, reverse, and assault force. Uh, okay, so I'm looking at the green guy. And he has downgrade. Downgrades enemy buildings by one level. That could be amazing, actually. That would be pretty cool. He has home. Teleports all allied units in the specified area into the buildings they came from. Guess that could be kind of useful if, if you think you're going to lose it anyways. A victim adds more morale points for each deceased in the building. Okay, that's that's kind of a reverse of fortune there. And panic, all the units run from any specified enemy or neutral building into other enemy buildings. I don't know why you would want to use that. Um, let me look at the red guy real quick, because he just looks really fierce. I'm, I'm looking at the other one as well, the the yellow guy, uh, yeah. the yellow lady. Re read that and one to us. What, what do they got? Okay, so freeze building, blocks a house, village stop... Uh, stop producing units. Towers cease shooting. Forges do not. What are forges? Hmm. Not <laughs> forges do not increase attack and defenses for uh, for ten seconds. So that must be something you can put on someone else. Allows to move one pseudo wave of a hundred percent of units from one from a building. So it looks like you're attacking. They defend that location, allowing you to probably be able to uh, swipe another building from them. Uh, Ring of Frost freezes units in its range for 20 seconds. And then Tornado kills all units in its range, drains units from buildings. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that, that could be massive. That could be very yes. massive. I kind of like that one, to be honest. And she's not too bad looking. Look at her, guys. <laughs> I mean, you know, not not wearing a whole lot there up top or down below. So, yeah, kind of kind of weird, but you know, it is it is what it is. She's a sexy mushroom, guys. Shackles of War is uh, is this fire guy's first one. Uh, blocks withdrawal of troops from any enemy building, so they can't run away from you anymore. They're locked into place. I guess uh, so you can just wipe them out if they happen to not put enough in there. Uh, equate morale averages out morale of all players. So if one guy's really low being you and everybody else is really high, you can kind of steal their morale and give it to your own guys. That could be very, very useful. Also, uh, rage increases attack by 50% and speed by 5% for all allied units on the battlefield. Not bad, actually. The faster you can get to an enemy, the the easier you'll be able to destroy them. Ring that of Fire. Like persistent as well. That doesn't look like it's something that only lasts for a certain amount of time. Right. And if, you're, if, yeah. you're, if you're charging one of those cannons, I imagine faster speed? Probably going to yeah. come in a lot you know, handy. You're going to lose a lot less people because of that yep. speed. You also have Ring of Fire. Destroys all units within effective damage range. Really? Wow, I think I'm gonna go with this guy. I, I I'm gonna go with my the um, Trini, the one that allows you to do illusions and things like that. Now, did you look at the emojis? You, you get four. I did look at the <laughs> emojis. <laughs> well, what what exactly are these? Where did these emojis go? And and who's gonna see them? Um, I I don't know. I think it's if you um, lose, then you would cry. If, um, you win. I guess you would do the second one. Well, what's the third uh, one? Is he is he picking his nose? Is he uh, is he taunting the enemy? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure what uh, that is. Oh no, no, he's doing the he's doing the um, the rock on pose with his fingers. Wouldn't that be if you won? Maybe I don't know. And then you got the mad one. 
the, the very end. That's hilarious. All right. Okay. So on the count of three, or on the count of one, I guess we're going to count down from three. We're going to hit the ready button, and hopefully we'll get into the same tournament here with each other. So in yeah. three, two, one. And I went ahead and clicked it. So I'm on map okay. duplex six. Duplex five. Oh, we didn't get into the same one. And I am no. going against Cypher. I'm going Wait, against Cypher. I'm, in, I'm going ex uh, against you. Who, who's this AC gamer guy? Nah, we, we got we got a match, guys. We we definitely we, we changed it. We we're in triplex one now. Any mode, and where victory conditions are random. So we're gonna have to see what our victory conditions are going to imply. I am uh, I'm already loaded up, so I'm just waiting for Cypher to load up on his end. That's cool. It tells you, you know, who's loading faster. And so it doesn't make you think that maybe your connection is going slow or whatever is the okay. case. Oh, boy. So who am I? Am I red or am I green? I'm guessing uh, I'm green? It, I think you're green because it shows on my my screen I'm red. Oh, my goodness. That's so cute. <laughs> did, did, I, did I take over that building? Uh, no, no. Sir, that has 35 people in it. <laughs> oh, holy crap. So I'm taking over the wrong... I just wasted all my people trying to take over the wrong building. Yeah, I gotta yes, learn this... I gotta learn this game all over again, because it's been a... Uh, five people versus five, and I lose. Oh, you know what? I'm not sending all of them. There we yeah. go. Go go all in at one time, guys. There we go. That is the way to do it. Okay, Shackle War. Blocks withdrawal of enemy troops. Uh, averages out morale. Where do you see morale? Do you see it on the map somewhere? I do not oh, see Oh, it's at the very top. 9 to 16? Okay. Right? No, that's that's player. That's how many players we got. Hmm. What is this? 50, 100%? Oh. That's how many you send out of the, the things you're clicking on. So if you only want to send like 50% of your troops, you can do that. Okay, can you guess you can select two? We're going to go ahead Come and on, say... get in there. Wow, these have a lot of people in them. Yeah, they do, and they recharge really quickly. Uh, almost too quickly, to be honest. My guys aren't... Uh, they're unable to keep up. This Are is you horrible. Upgrading? I mean, oh, I no, no, no. not meaning to help you or anything. How do you upgrade? You don't oh, you right-click on it, yeah. <laughs> can't believe I just helped you. Well, it'd be unfair otherwise, you know. Yeah, what am I well, spending feet, people? Oh, you need to get <laughs> it allows you to have more people in that building. Okay, so yeah, I knew you could do that from the first one, but uh, it's been so long since we played that. Oh, you're kicking my butt, dude. You're kicking my <laughs> butt. I'm up to like nine people. You're at like 35. This is this is not good. Yeah, this is neck and futz, guys. I think we might lose this one. The learning curve. Learning curve. All right, we are... Come on, get in there. Get in there. Oh, this is uh this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be very, very bad. Oh my goodness. Somebody's using a friggin' tornado on me. It's not fair. Not fair. <laughs> I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. <laughs> alright, alright. Suck it, punk. Oh, uh. You didn't hit any of my guys because really? yours doesn't hit anybody inside of the buildings. Oh, that is... <laughs> That's not right. Okay, so I can... Uh... Ooh, can we make this into a tower? Oh, you suck. <laughs> oh, what? How did you make that into a tower? Uh, yeah, wouldn't you like to do? Now, you just go, you go into your buildings and when you uh, look to upgrade... You can actually upgrade them into something else other than uh, something that produces units. And I probably should not have done that because now I'm not producing any troops. Oh, that sucks. Uh, what am I going to do? I think I lost this one, guys. Because you can't downgrade oh, it. We haven't even started yet, sir. Because <laughs> you, you can't you can't downgrade. What what exactly does this... this re oh, it researches faster. Okay, I see what it does. Yeah. I'm, I'm dead. I lost... You can't, no, you're not. You can't not yet. You can't downgrade. And I'm not producing any yeah, more troops. You, can, you have you have buildings around you that you can get still. I can't take those over. They recharge too fast. I don't have enough troops. Like this well, is this you, is all my you, troops right here and I lose. 
Are you at maximum? Oh, okay, it took, your... it took it. Uh, it brought it. I got it. Okay, I, I was able to I save hate, one. I was about to say. <laughs> wait, wait, that's a ah oh, oh, freaking A. Nope, that's it. I got one troop, and this is gonna be the end of me. You don't have any troops? No, that's it. See, I lost. I killed myself because I upgraded my buildings into like weird stuff. And it was no longer producing. <laughs> yeah, well, I, now I know. It wasn't producing any troops. Oh, man. Okay, so first match there. Not a great success, guys. I do apologize. Uh, you play the game and you learn, man. This is our very first blind let's play of a quit to menu. There we go. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And we will be coming back in for another episode. I did get a little bit of experience right there. How much experience did you get on your end? I'm almost level two. Almost? Okay, see, I only got about a fourth, maybe a little bit less than a fourth into my level for losing. So, yeah, yeah, you get a lot more experience for winning. I wonder what you get when you unlock the next level. We'll definitely be finding out on the next episode. As always, guys, oh, yeah. I'm AC Gamer. This is Cypher Deck. And we will definitely catch you all next time. Bye. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.